Today we're looking at the home owned by, according to the records I said, Mia Long, actress, longtime actress. She's also on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Y'all see who they have playing Mia Long's role in the new series, Bel-Air? No, won't get to that. Okay, whatever. But this home is located in Los Angeles. <laughs> it has three bedrooms, four bathrooms, spans over 2,800 square feet. She actually purchased it in 1998 for $732,000. She recently listed it back in uh, March of 2021 for 2.89 million. Lowered the price a couple of months later, a couple of months later to 2.695, and then eventually removed it in June. Um, so it still owns it. We're going to take a look at it today. If you would take a moment, press like with the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll be back with a tour of Neil Long's Los Angeles digs. Let's do like trade songs and dive in into this house. All right, living room looks very vacation-y. Lots of columns in the middle of the living room, I guess sectioning off the living room and the dining room. I don't know if I like that. It kind of gives me mobile home vibes, like manufactured home vibes. I do like to step up into the living space. Okay, from this angle, I like it a little bit better. I didn't like it from the previous one. I like this angle better. There's a built-in over there. Um, I like this. It's a very, it's a big space, a lot, a lot of, space to do some things in. I love the the um, wall over there with the big window and the sliding doors to open out into what looks like to be a balcony. Nice fireplace, lots of natural light in this space, hardwood floors under that carpet, under that rug rather, and into the kitchen. Beautiful, beautiful uh, brown wood, nice stainless steel handles. <laughs> And nice range on top of the counter. I'm not sure what type of counters those are. Those are those stainless steel counters. I don't know about that. Is that stainless steel over here on the island? I can't tell. But on the on the other cabinets, it looks like it's maybe marble. But maybe I'm looking at that wrong. But it looks like stainless steel. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I like the kitchen overall as a whole. But I don't like the stainless steel counter top. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Actually, I'm going to let you guys finish with looking at this, and then we'll come back at the end and we'll rate the home on a scale from 1 to 10. Enjoy. I'll be right back. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. Immature lover who don't use big words, yeah I don't need commenting at all because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? What's it gonna take for you to show, take for you to show feels, yeah
right, so that is the house. What did you think about Neil Long's Los Angeles house? What did you rate it? Hmm. I just, I got to say, and as I always say with houses that don't wow me, I wasn't wild. <laughs> I didn't hate it, but I wasn't wild, okay? There was a couple of wins in the house. Um, location, of course. Value. She, I mean, she paid 700 k for it. And now it's worth at least $2 million. But I'm going to give this house a five inside of rating. What do you give this house on a scale from one to 10? One being awful, 10 being amazing, based on your personal preference. What do you rate it? My favorite part of the house, I would say, was the master bath. I liked it, like the tub, maybe. But all I can give it is a five. I can't go any higher. Put your rating, though, in the comments below, and I might shout you out in a future video or on one of my live videos on Friday or Sunday nights. All right, I think that's all. I think that's it. We're done. Thank you guys for tuning in. Press like, thumbs up, subscribe if you have it, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Liam, the Real Estate Insider. Peace out. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out what's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you?